The guys cut me out of the last episode of the podcast and I won't have it. I'm uploading the Patreon episode for free. I'm not missing a week, baby. I'm always here. I'm staying here. I'm not fucking leaving. You motherfuckers thought. Oh, you thought we're giving out free content these days. No siree. This is patreon.com slash the yard. Bitch, you're paying just like everybody else. I don't give a fuck if Lubbock's not in the episode. Dumb motherfucker, he's already got enough. He doesn't need more. He's rich. You are welcome for the upload. Free forever, baby! Also, subscribe while you're here, and Aiden's not in this one. Fuck him up. I like coming on the law. He, um, his silhouette looks like Daffy Duck. If, are you, I can't see his silhouette. No, is I, it because you have the, what? Is it because you have What do you mean? Silhouette. On? Like, I, I, what I'm what, saying what, is I can see everything. Well, when, I, I when, don't you're, when you're talking about mind. like a fit, like your silhouette is like the shape in which your clothes make you appear. Oh, right. Yeah, fashion. So, That's so, something I can definitely plug so into. So his shape where it's, you got the big fucking boots. Bro, just up like a gender reveal party and you're talking about fashion. <laughs> Ludwig, that is so funny. <laughs> You like that one? That is really, really like funny. That? Yeah, he said, I think, he said it 15 minutes ago when he saw me. So. The practice. I don't care. If it, it's just. I think it's one of the most clever you've ever been. That's really? easy. What do you mean? Yeah, that was, that's I a gimme. I, I just. I just didn't expect it. I just expect picked it. an apple from a tree and you went by God, Isaac. <laughs> it really is. I would have said he looked like one of Doctor Mario's pills, but I think, I think that's better. I think that's funnier though. You know what's crazy is. Isaac Newton really did just have an apple fall on him, and he was like, no, guys, for real, though, it falls. And that uh, was revolutionary. Yeah, I feel like I have this thought a lot where I feel like I could have been that guy. <laughs> the gravity guy? Isaac <laughs> Newton? Yeah. I yeah. feel like I have put things Discovering together. Discovering the entire color spectrum? Yes. I think I've put things together in my mind so well, like on my own, that I could be uh, sitting beneath the tree, and if it hadn't got figured out yet, I would have figured it out. I feel the same way, but for George Washington. For the country being formed? Like you could yeah. have had wooden teeth? Did you have... I would have been like, no know, slaves. George Washington? George Washington. I would have been like, Did no he say no slaves? No, he didn't. That's what I would have done. Oh, you would have been better. And I would have been better. Wait, well, that's, that's not really that's being like not George even, Washington. You're, you're just think you could have been president. You're just talking about like a different <laughs> you think? Thing. Can we talk about me being president for a moment? That, I, I think you'd do a good job. I think you would be a shit job. What? You'd do a shit job. Because you gotta, you gotta please way too many people. He's good at that. And no, but he has to like take like dark evil money to become president. And I like, already do that. I get paid by Doctor Battle to be here. Paid by Doctor Battle. Yeah, the darkest, most evil money. Doctor Battle and, and Coinbase. He was my super pack. <laughs> him and him and Coinbase were my super pack yeah, that brought me here. Doctor Battle putting up fifteen dollars a month. G Fuel Coinbase and Doctor Battle. <laughs> three three dark triads. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that you uh, would have been a shit George Washington. Because you don't have it, you don't have the dog in you to kill, and that's what it took to spawn this country. I'm actually such a pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm such a pussy. <laughs> such a, a done no, dude. Done no. I well, I I'm only saying that because I wrapped up the Grayson things today. Oh really? I didn't yeah. watch it. Wait, uh, what? Okay, I when you said you did Mogul Mail, and I said I watched it. I meant the swatting one. That was, was that right. I made a main channel YouTube video uh -huh. about getting scammed. Uh huh. And I put a bow on it all. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? For those of us that don't watch, tell me a story for didn't before watch Ludwig Anders stream. Well, I think the problem is, I talked about Grayson like a gambling god, uh -huh. and so I had a due diligence because he then scammed me. Yeah. Out of a hundred twenty thousand. Yeah. To say that was wrong. To say that was wrong. Yeah. Because there was a person who met Grayson in Vegas, and they were like, "Ludwig, I met the guy you met." And I gave him my money. Oh, and dude. In this example, Grayson tripled it up on lucky blackjack bets. So, fair, okay, fair. so it was just cashed out. Get out of there. But still scary. That is really funny. That it's like, it's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a professional. Give me your money and I'll flip it. And then they go play blackjack. Yeah. And it's like, look, I did it. It's like, bro, give me your money. I'll make you a fire pizza. And they like order pizza. Hut. <laughs> <laughs> But, but there's a chance that like ah oh, dude pizza was closed. Dude, I'm they were closed, the and I already spent the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> I ordered it. They just won't come today, and you're leaving, so I'll eat it. Uh, yeah. So I, I well the 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 update. I think we talked about me getting salmon on the pod. Yeah. Yeah. But the update is I was gonna. I talked about. I went kind of like um, what, what do you call it? Burn bridge. 
all shit uh, uh, loose. The scorched earth. Scorched earth what policy. You're looking for where I I was like fuck this. Oh, it's I the opposite this. of burn bridge, right? No. Or no, it's no, it's the same. It's just, it's just you're burning more than just the bridge. I made fire. Yeah, and you were shadow the hedgehog. I yes, you, you shadow the hedgehog with an Uzi in a Petersonian sense. That's, Whoa, that's, that's the that's Sonic the Hedgehog. That's not Shapiro. Meme. I thought you were doing Shapiro. Petersonian. You don't know this meme? It's the Shadow Sonic meme. You guys are so fucking old, and I'm, it's hard. Oh, bang! Look at what happened. <laughs> Bug killed. <laughs> anyway, uh, I. Uh, so what I did is I I was gonna upload a video because I went Scorch Earth policy and I went on stream and I called him on stream and I was like I was like where's my money I was like Stewie Griffining him and did he pick up he picked up. Holy and shit. he sounded like a nervous little kitten. Oh, he was their little kitten. Dude, he was when so was scared. This? this was like a, like maybe a few days ago, a week ago. Holy shit. And I'm doing it and I'm calling him. And he's like, I, I don't have it right now, man. Like, but I can go home. Like, I, I can get it. I'm like, all right, when are you going home? He's like, two hours. I was like, all right, I'll call you then. Dude, holy shit. And I, That's so baller. That's content. And I was just like really emotionless about it because I was just like, I'm fed up. I had this whole plan where I was going to hire a PI and then, and then get him and nab him. And I was like, I was just fed up. Yeah, Nick Yingling had to ask me what that was. What? A PI. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. But he did say uh, we have to hire a PI. Wait, what was the thing I DM'd you? You uh, you DM'd oh, me. I he was like, Nick DM's me out of the blue, and he's like, Do you think if we told Nick Yingling that a, f a no, hold on, can I frame it the way I wrote it? Yeah. It was I just had an independent idea that did not actually happen. I had an imaginary thought of Nick Yingling asking the question. Does something being dooctored mean a doctor made it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and then, I thought that was the funniest And then Nick shit. asked me, he's like, do you think Nick Yingling would think this? And I said, <laughs> it's an 80% chance. There's no way he would think that. <laughs> but, we could, we could well, test his gangster well, right what now. What does that mean? Like a it's his right? birthday right now. We can't call him on his birthday. <laughs> dude. No, yeah. It's dog. We have, <laughs> I also don't love you guys treating my Nick Yingling like a Waba Fett. Your Nick Yingling? Oh, my Nick Yingling. It was behind his back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I, was the one who, I was the one who brought Nick Yingling on. Ludwig said to me, Nick? What? Really? You reveal that? And I'm like, Live I said, pod? Nick, really? He doesn't no. even know what doctored means. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking dummy. So, I don't want to hear shit. Yeah, well, Dr. I was just surprised because the deal was locked before I knew. That was what was surprising. Anyway, sorry. No, but I us. loved him and known him before you were, you were even born. That's I, actually true. Maybe not Nick uh, him. Other Nick. Oh, when did you meet Nick? Like, we, we've known I'm Nick. Healing Blum, blum, I don't I've known remember. I've known more about Nick's past. You know what Yingling said to me recently? Uh huh. He was like, uh, yeah. So Tommy, uh, Callie, and I'm like, what? Why are you? You think I don't know Tommy? <laughs> Tommy's open enough. It's just I've just been to their house so many yeah, times. Yeah, you've been to their. And place. then I realized I'm like I met Tommy before I met you, Nick. <laughs> the only Tommy I would have ever thought of outside of that is in it, and I don't think Nick Yingling would ever start a story. Tommy in it, you know. <laughs> 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 anyway, All right, sorry, to on, sorry. Back to it. So, uh, scorch earth policy. I call him on stream. He's a scared little kitten. You said I'm gonna scorch your earth. <laughs> I'm gonna take your little pubes off of your dude, body. That'd be so funny if you called him. And you're like, "All right, Grayson, dude, I have a huge bad opportunity. <laughs> like, let me send you like 10k for this." But just yeah, I get it. Run it back. He's like, oh, "Yeah, I'm down." <laughs> <laughs> so you're not like mad? pussy. You're not yeah. mad. <laughs> uh, and so I I told a story of him, how I met him, how I got scammed all over again. And I was going to upload a, that as a video and I had it all ready to go and just had to click publish. But I stopped and I was like, I should call him and tell him that I'm doing this because I felt bad. So I call him and the first call we have is like he's kind of just like perpetuating the lie that he's locked out of his Instagram account. And oh, wow. He, can get all the he money hasn't owned back. up to anything. He, say it again. He hasn't owned up to anything. No. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, all right, well, this is going live tomorrow because like 2 a.m. at this point. So I wouldn't upload anyway. And he's like, well, is there anything I can do? And I was like, tell the truth. But he was still lying. And, uh, and then next day I call him. And at this point, I, I take a much more hard ass approach. I just start hard calling him out on everything. And I'm like, you did not make because he told me he made a $40,000 bet with my money. I was like, you did not make a $40,000 bet. This is off stream. Yes. OK. I was like, you did not make a $40,000 bet. And he's like, you're right. I didn't. And I was like, how what? much was it? And then he was like, it was 16 to 17. I was like, how much actually? He was like, it was 15,000. And I was like, OK, so I gave you 56,000. To make a forty thousand dollar bet, and you bet fifteen thousand, and you use the other money for what? And he's like, for other gambles that I did. And I was like, okay, do you understand how that's a scam? And he's like, finally, he's like, yeah, I scammed you. What? And he finally owned up to it. And then I went, I made him tell me his history of his first time scamming. 
He apparently went to Gamblers Anonymous and Alcohols Anonymous for six months. He relapsed, went back to He's Vegas like, so for I six months. I heard the song by a guy named Babytron. And, <laughs> and, and, and I figured if I was Mario, I, was, I mean, I, I would was, do that. I would do that shit to Luigi. <laughs> yeah. uh, He's been running a Ponzi scheme, basically, where he asks one person for money. Right. He has an ego that's inflated, so he over sells himself. He says, I have a 70% chance of winning. His own ego thinks he has like a 70% chance of winning. His actual yeah, he edge. Yeah, the algorithm story. His edge is maybe 2%, honestly. Most people's edge in sports betting is is 2% <clears throat> is very generous. Right. Yeah. That's like best case scenario. Yeah. So what ends up happening is he loses and then he has to pay them back after they keep harassing him. So we'll find someone new and then try to win. Get them to trust him. Use that money to pay the first guy. Yes. Lie this, to that guy. This is fractional reserve banking. And this is how China is finally going down. This. So he is also <laughs> Chinese. No, he's not. His real name is Sung La. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, is he also the CEO of Evergrande? Because well, he's got some explaining to do. He's got a long background to go over. <laughs> uh, and so then I, I basically had two options, which was one, report him to the FBI with all the things I have and I talk to. Uh, That'd be crazy. The fucking FBI. I talked to CoffeeZilla and he was like, the amount's not high enough, but the notoriety and how many people you found that he has scammed might be enough to get him like in trouble, locked up or something. Our option two is publicly shame him and then hold him accountable because you can you can self ban yourself from casinos. You can write a letter and they'll ban you. So get him to ban himself from all the casinos, publicly shame him because he's a public figure. Wow. So the name Grayson Goss is, is synonymous with scammer. Yeah. And then he has to start anew in like, in I don't like know. Macau. Yeah. Or, or just like, and if he fucks up in field. Macau, they will cut his fucking head off. Well, that's what I said. I was like, if he goes to Macau, <laughs> the Chinese government will take care of him. Yeah. But I think he could just start like a normal life here and work as like a, car auto yeah it's like it's like when chill. like d1 got fucking canceled for all that horrible shit he did it's like yeah just go work at mcdonald's just do another thing that's not this and yeah. you'll be fine yeah like you're like well it's basically saying you are done doing this you know you just need to go find something else i to feel like your people life. like that once they get away with it even if they've been scared straight, they just eventually do it again in some way. I mean, there's always someone to hustle in Vegas, you know, even if even if you're 86, like you can you can you can make shit happen. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping the P.I. on him. And if he ever fucks up, I'm sending it to the FBI. Dude, that's crazy. I'm keeping it on. That's, that's sick. So you called CoffeeZilla. That's cool. You got him on speed dial because he, he's the guy. He was watching me and he hit me up. And he was like, he was like, I found where he sent all because I showed. Oh, because he's the, he can do the wallet shit yeah. with the ten million dollar studio. So he found hey, when it? I sent him the fifty six k. Shut the fuck up. Uh, oh. he, when I sent him the fifty six k, he found the wallet, and the wallet never sent out a forty k bet. It sent out many thousand dollar bets to many oh, different wallets. Oh shit! So he found that out, and that's how I found out for sure. Oh, it was that a he crypto was bet. Yes, the public ledger. Whoa, the Heath ledger. Yeah, Coffeezilla. Have you ever watched his stuff? Uh, like once or twice. Yeah. yeah, and he has something called the Ten Million Dollar Studio. It's a green screen. Uh, and uh, it's really looking cool. green screen. Though. It looks great. Tell you what. His lighting's really nice. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, that's the end. Holy that's shit! Good... Don't yeah, trust I, Gamble Guy. I think like often when I think about stuff like this, like even like fucking like I don't know like random shit like fucking people who prank some pizzas to your house or whatever. Like my first instinct is like I want them to suffer. And then I, once it gets into it, like you find out their identity, whatever, I'm like, okay, I, but my human remorse starts to come out and I'm like, all right, well, if they, if I believe they won't do it again, this, I'll go easy, whatever. But I was thinking about your situation and I was like, that's so much money. It's a lot of it's money. It's so much money. It's like for a lot like of people, not it's life changing. care to steal from someone. And I was thinking about that. And I'm just like, I think he should be really harsh. Yeah. Well, I think, I think it's always, it's also a like first time, like, and then someone's like, you know what? I'm fucking sorry. And I'll never do it again. And then they do something again, talking like minor shit, major shit. Like the second time you're like, okay, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like it does mean a lot. Yeah. It does mean a lot to do something again. Again, after yeah. like capping that you wouldn't or whatever. But there is like a certain dollar. like, you know, if he stole a million dollars from blood first, second doesn't really fight. It's like you stole a million dollars, bro. You're fucking going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, he was close. Tenth of the way there. That's that's pretty close. That's closer than I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> true. I'm just she too soft. I'm too soft. I couldn't. I felt too I bad. Yeah, you're no George Washington. No, I got. I had wooden teeth, and I killed fucking everyone. And the French, after they helped us out, yeah, I executed them. That's not what happened in history. Do you sure? Do you sure? Yeah, because when. <laughs> Baton Rouge is still a city, so. Baton Rouge. That, they don't say it like that. The Baton Rouge it's an is American like a, city. a, a, a shining sea. It's an we, American city. Do we have any presidents that were like really good at chess? 
Gambit was from Baton Rouge. Sorry, go ahead. That's the same. That answers my question. <laughs> <laughs> Gambit was Cajun, and I always thought it was weird. That makes sense because he gambled because he was on a riverboat. Anyway, mm. I wanted to ask you something. I didn't actually, guys. Aiden's not here. You might have thought he was being really quiet. Hey, I didn't even notice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to think about something to put in that chair, uh, but I did, we don't have oh, a color you know what printer. I, thought, hold, I actually forgot. I'm mad at myself. I was gonna I was gonna make Aiden lightning trivia, and I was gonna oh. come prepared with trivia about Aiden for you guys and see who is his better friend. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't do it. So, you didn't do that. So yeah. I, so I'm sorry. That's tight. So I lose. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, no, I don't count. Uh, we that, figured that out. We win. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah I love bro. Aiden. Yeah. Nice nah, man. Yeah. Uh, this this can maybe be like the the maybe we be really nice and we say all the things we like about Aiden. So he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll never listen to this. No. He will never. Click on the fucking premium no, episode. No, because they'll tell him and he will instantly do it. That's true. You ruined it by saying that. What if What if we trust everyone not to say anything? You think there's not a single narc in the Patreon? Sometimes they step up and answer the call of doot and they do not narc. Okay, I will do it. I will say nice things. But if they narc, I'm leaving the Discord. Okay. Scorched Guys, if a single person oh, narcs. they're going to do it just to make him leave. Wait, why would they want me to leave? Because it's just, it's it's just content. Yeah, it gives Then them I pit. won't leave. But I will be very mad at you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. And I'll call the FBI. <laughs> yeah. We'll call the FBI. Basically, we'll get one PI to follow one Patreon. Who marks. <laughs> <laughs> I hired a PI to follow a Patreon member. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Okay. So here's how it works. We are we are essentially guys letting you in on a bit that we are doing, and you can be in on it too by not telling Aiden. Right. So if you fuck this up, you're just so not cool. And if you go along with it. It's kind of hype, all right? All right really we all, cool hey, we all go on a line and say a nice thing about Aiden, and you have to keep going, and whoever doesn't do it first has to message him a mean thing. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like this. Mm. <laughs> the fucking... What? Fucking like, if I, if, oh yeah, <laughs> dude. The video the is questions, so fucking questions funny. For Holy Cup. shit. Uh, okay, so it's King's Cup, but it's it's questions, and it's Aiden nice <laughs> things. Okay, you go first. I love. When Aiden does his sweet voice when he sees you for the first time. Oh, hey, Ludwig. It's like really <laughs> nice and inviting. I like when Aiden is hungry or he wants attention and he'll go, Hey, man. Hey, man. I want to, mm. I want to make Donald a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like when Aiden asks someone that is your friend that he doesn't know a question about their life. Because he cares about being friends with your friends. I like when he invites himself to hang out with me. You like that? What does that mean? Like, I will be doing something and be like, oh, can I come? Oh, okay. Yeah. And when you say invite himself at me, it's, it's usually that connotation's like, you know, kind of It is, but imposing. I like it. He, asks, he doesn't invite himself. He asks if he can come. Yeah. Which is different. Sure. Well, you could argue it's inviting yourself because of the social pressure to, social to pressure make, you need to to say make yes. them say yes. Because it'd be crazy to but say I no I think inviting yourself is like, I'll go too. And it's oh, like, sure. It's like, yeah, I'm going to sperm like, bank. Like, let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a okay. more socially apt way of at inviting yourself. Okay, got which it. Which is asking. It's funny, too. You thought the, uh, the opposite of the word inept was apt. That's crazy. It is, because in... It's adept. It's not in, All right. It's out-apt. <laughs> out-apt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like when Aiden, uh, when you have a problem with him, he's always really good at sitting down and talking to you, no matter what, how mad he is. He will, he will be the first one to... You want to reach out and close the book on it mm, and adding to that not to piggyback but i it's different i think that he is always aiming to understand how you feel when you disagree and rarely just yelling at you for no reason all right rapid fire now i like when he says well hold on <laughs> well hold on oh my god i love it well hold on uh i like when he uh Oh, five, oh, four, God. three, two, one, bang! <sighs> beep, beep. Anthony what, what, hates what, what, do I, what do I lose? No I friend bot. I don't lose any friend. Are friend deleted. A racist. <laughs> Child predator. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a pedophile now. Yeah, you're a pedophile. Because I, I could. You have to tweet out, I am a child predator or I'm a racist. <laughs> you get to pick. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> wow. So no stakes on the yard, I guess. <laughs> I do want to think of one more thing just because I feel bad. But no, you'll get to. No, you don't get That's to. the whole point. You, that the whole point is now you are the worst friend of Aiden. Yeah, and we have to move on now. Which we can bring us to our next point. I started personal training. My personal trainer is Christian, 
who used to work on Cutie's body and Slime's body. Don't say it like that. That is a weird way what? to say that. He didn't used to work on <laughs> our used, bodies. He used to work on Cutie's body. He's a personal trainer. Are he you work <laughs> on both your bodies? And does so he work on your body now? He works on me all the time. Like your car. <laughs> yeah, he, t- he fine tunes. That's what they, they're like a mechanic yeah, for humans. I know. I see, I'm done for that. You yeah, know, except you, I wasn't like a. I, I wasn't a fine tune project. I was like a fucking jalopy. Like, <laughs> just like fucking. Yeah, you were like a '67. Like I, I don't know what a car was, but Ford Model T. <laughs> like Camaro. Yeah, I went to the therapist. He worked on my brain. Yeah, he came out with like oil on his, his forehead and like had a wrench and stuff. Well, anyway, I'm not much of a talker in the morning. But Christians talk so much, bro. He's a talker, but he did bring up. He was like, I was like, I, I miss slime, and I was like, yeah, he talked good about you. He's like, yeah, you know, he gave me the best compliment I've ever had, and I'll never forget it. What? Really? And he, he recounted it like it happened at that just that morning. <laughs> he was like, he yeah. He was in there, and he was training, and uh, and I was stretching him out. And he was saying how, you know, some, some friends have been, uh, in his life have stretched him out before. But he looked up at me, and he was like, Christian, you stretch me out like nobody else, because you're a beef castle of a man. <laughs> I remember this, and you are fucking lying. This is not... He was not stretching me out. He was stretching you out no, is what he told he wasn't me. Stre- he said you were yeah, stretching yeah, this he one. He was gaping he you open. He, <laughs> he was cracking you open no. like a fucking kinder egg. He was, he was making sure he got and the toy inside toy is in so you. he could swallow it he, <laughs> and die like three-year-olds He's turning you into a choking hazard. Yeah, I come little tiny motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin this. This happened, and I don't care. I'm just saying, I did say that, and I remember him saying what that. What was your exact phrase? Th- what he said. Beef castle of a man. Beef castle of a man, which I got from workaholics like ten years ago. Because uh, mm. Adam is like, yeah, he's a real, he's a real, he's a beef castle. <laughs> Christian's gonna watch that and be like, oh, yeah. What? Well, maybe not. But, but Christian is funny. Uh, that is crazy that he remembered that so hardcore. I remember that. I uh, also think it was funny because I'd explain to him nearly every day what you do and what like we do and stuff, and I'd be like, yeah, like Ludwig's on YouTube. Like, there's a bunch of videos. And I don't think he ever watched a single video of yours ever in his life. That's so awesome. He did. <laughs> he did? Well, he at least knew what I looked like, but because before my first ever personal training, he saw me at a pizza place that's close by to the gym. Oh, yeah. And he told me the next day, he's like, I saw you at the pizza place. No. And I was like, and he's like, you eat there a lot? And I was like, uh, what? what? So you like carbs? We've huh? never met before. You like fucking cheese? <laughs> what do you like, huh? It's day zero, You're sir. a big guy, huh? For you. So he's seen, like, he might have just Googled and then probably not watched. Sure. Probably not his speed. He, he, it's funny because he, um, he would always talk to me about, like, he was, like, trying to get a PS5. And it was, like, two months. He's like, can't get a PS5. I'm trying to get a line on one, bro. Like, this and that. And he, like, paid over 100, like, over retail for one. And I was like, oh, he's finally got it. And then in the next session, I go in and he's like, dude, I like thought that getting the PS5 would like make me really happy. And then I just realized like, I don't, I don't even want it. <laughs> and I was like, that's really funny. There's no games for it. That's, it's actually shit to own. It's like when I first got my Wii, when I was a child, I was asking my mom for like six months and I finally got it. The only game I got was Brain Age Academy. Yeah. And it, you turned out that you were fucking stupid too. Yeah. This is how I'm just, I'm different. You know how like they say like money doesn't buy happiness? Some it doesn't. But sometimes I'm like in a bad mood and I'll just like go shopping by myself and I'll buy myself like an expensive thing and I feel good for like a month. Nick stares at an Armani shirt and does this like a sim. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I just yeah, I go home with it and I, we- <laughs> and I wear it a lot and I'm just like that was a great purchase and then I just feel good for like a month. I have always considered you a, a like the biggest slave to buying things I've ever met and oh. I think it's California thing because I think yeah. I think that like every time I've ever when I started hanging out with you you would just <laughs> buy things. You just like love to buy and consume and like go to eat. I really do. And love I was it. like, is this how kids grew up here? Like, because I grew up in a place where, for one, like I asked my mom for a Gatorade and she'd be like, fuck no, we can't afford Gatorade. Are you fucking kidding me, pussy? And I'd be like, okay. And then, and then like after that, there was nothing to buy, right? There was nothing uh, to just do. Just declare that doesn't make me privileged. That just means you were in a trailer park. Yeah. Uh, but you were always privileged. But also, <laughs> but also, it's like when I finally had money to like, you know, I worked a job after school, like fucking twenty hours, and I had money to buy stuff. I couldn't. There was nothing to do, like mm. or get, you know, like except video games, which is cool. Yeah, I don't know. I I got a job. My first job ever was making pizza, and I got it solely because my girlfriend had a job. I was fifteen, sixteen, fifteen and a half, fifteen and a half, 
I got it just because my girlfriend had a job, and I was like, well, I want to be able to buy stuff for her, too. Uh, I didn't have money, and that was just the only reason I got a job. I didn't want one. I was just like, I got to be able to buy her stuff. God, you make it so hard for me to be friends with you. You know what's funny? Is that, yeah, I was just thinking about... <laughs> uh, what I was going to say earlier was, I love a good slime compliment. <laughs> they're, so not, they're so great, because, like, because when you compliment someone, it's like, you are... Uh, really good at organizing things, which is weird because you're Satan spawn and <laughs> uh, you are uh, you hate people and you're a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. that second part is just it's like um, it comes with the character. It's the sweet and the salty. You we need, talk about I'm like a nut roll. <laughs> me and Aiden were talking about slime mean things that stick with us. Oh yeah, and hurt our feelings. Oh, I have I have one of those. Oh really? Yeah, what's, for sure. what's yours? Which one is it? The throw up one? Um, no, one time Anthony said that none of my friends like to play video games with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mean recently in Australia? No, 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 this was, no, this oh. was in the house here. Oh, it was when he was playing Puff. I said, this is no. only fun for you. This is oh, only fun that, for yeah. you. That was different. That was different. Yeah. But you know that. The, the this prime w- examples uh, are his nest and his That's every Puff brimstone of, of yore. I think it has changed you. What? I think that has changed how what? you play a bit, maybe. What has? That comment? That? What? Is that part of why you when switched off say brimstone? This? Because I feel like Mango used to also say the same no, thing. No, I switched off Brimstone because I realized that Valorant could be fun. Mm. <laughs> uh, Instead of work? No, that didn't change. <laughs> when I'm, did I say this? So, uh, you were... So, <laughs> there was a period when, when like, in, in our history as friends, where Aiden came in. And it was us three, right? Like, we were the three, and Aiden comes in. And we very quickly were like, this guy's fun to make fun of. Because he makes he elicits a fun reaction. Yes. Uh, and, Aiden you know, saved us, by the way. Aiden absolutely saved us. But I'm just saying, at no, first... At first... No, he didn't. I would have necked this kid because of what he did to the kitchen if we were only us three forever. That's not true. We would have just handled it. No. You're fucking we stupid. Gave up. We gave up, remember? Look, and we I, would trade months of full dish cleaning. Yeah. I, I would have broke. I love you my would, boy. We, what we would have done is explained our feelings to each other because it's fucking weird I not would have to. broke and gone to the FBI <laughs> and then, before and I would for Grayson. told on Nick. Yeah. It's like, this guy is a chomo. I would have put my money in his room over the course of months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, 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 the domino is Aiden never moving in and me being a chomo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, convicted chomo for 40 years. Uh, so there was a period where I was like, this is fun. You know, it's, it's, we, we love each other. He understands. And at one point, it was like, and Slime's like, and you're a psychopath, and you're this, and you're that. I'm like, oh, it's not a lot of fun making fun of Aiden anymore. And one time. It was, I'll tell you why, but go on. One time. You're playing melee with Aiden, and you're 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 railing into him about him doing like instead of just killing you, going for something like that he felt was stylish that you didn't think was stylish. And I I interjected because I was like he's being unfair. I'm gonna take Aiden's side this time. And I interjected and I was like, hey, you can't say that because you go for falcon punches and shit. And it's the same thing. And you were like, no, it's not the same thing for a reason that I felt was bad. And then uh, I was like. No, you're being a hypocrite. And you said, well, none of your friends like playing video games with you at all, ever. And uh, I was like, that's hurtful. My man was just swinging. Yeah. He, he, he was just swinging in a dark room. Yeah, and, I was acting uh, a lot. I was and then, really mad about and, it. And I was like, and I, I literally, and, and Aiden goes, I like playing with him. And I, and I was like, Aiden, not now. <laughs> and then, uh, it, 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 actually, I can. Was this, that this, this house? Funny. Yeah, yeah, it was here. And then really? funny, funnily enough, Mike was there. And Mike agreed with you. Yeah. So I had to go back and I had to like think about it a lot. And I felt really sad about it. And I was just like, is that true? Blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up talking, talking to Mike about it like separately. And what me and Mike deduced at the end of it was Mike did not mean it when he said it. <laughs> That's what he ended up saying. Like, he's like, I didn't mean it. I just, I hate getting comboed. That's basically what he said. And I was yeah. like, I was like, fair. Yeah. Uh, but we also kind of decided to stop playing video games together. Or sorry, stop playing Melee together. Yeah, okay. Uh, which was like a, yeah, all right, cool, boys. Um, but yeah, that was the one that stuck with me. It stuck with you? Yeah. It, I, I don't think it's true, but I... It made you But think. I think you meant it. You have your moments. Uh, but I think overall, you're probably <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think uh, that came from a place where I was unreasonably angry. But I do, I do play less video games with you because I think that... I don't want to put the amount of effort mm. that you do when we play multiplayer games. Not con- not counting Melee. I think I've gotten a lot better about Melee. Uh, and then I'm just like, he's just going to try way too hard, and I'm not going to have fun. So I need to... Wait, I, just, I, I, can't, I... I can't be involved here. I don't... Wait. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's a game that isn't Melee? I'm talking Melee. about rando games. Like, like, I don't think I'd play Astro Bears with oh, you for I see a what long you're time. I see what you're saying. Because you think I lab stuff, and, you don't, and you're like, you just want to... Like, I, I, I don't think I, I have yeah. what it takes to keep up with you. And but, you but you don't mean um, a game like Valorant. You mean like more like a... 
Back no, in the day, Valorant, but not I think, modern day. No, I think even back in the day of Valorant, it was fine. I think CSGO was rough, but I think that was just was, an anomaly. I wasn't trying hard in CSGO. No, no, I think that was just a different reason you were hard to play with. <laughs> And just, you know that. Were you so, bad? So I wasn't good at CSGO, no. You know, well, he would survive at the end of every round <laughs> and only use the, the Mag 7, Swag 7 shotgun, which wasn't oh. good. And we'd have to sit and watch the fucking Nick Vert, Nick Vert Silarino movie where he was just fucking lurking around 1v5. experience? Uh, no, I, it's, it's on my playlist. Love will never, but... I'll never. Dude, it but was, what I imagine you seen it? is you're waiting in the corner for everyone to die, and then you're like, my turn. He doesn't I, wait for I, us to die, he just lurks. Have you, did you, I, that's how I imagine Have you it. seen the MV experience? Not see, watch it, but have, do you know what it is yet? I, I, uh, I have a folder on my desktop, com- on my computer, that I just dragged into Premiere and didn't check, rendered, and then uploaded to YouTube, and it's two hours. Oh, it's on YouTube? It's, it's unlisted. Oh, okay. It's unlisted. I think and, I and want it's to just, watch it's, it's only my gaming clips. And, and, and then you realize, you had a watershed moment, because you watch it and you're like, Dude. I said, yeah, I said, I'm, I feel so bad for anyone who played Counter-Strike with me, yeah. because I basically play the exact same way I play Valorant, but I'm so much better at Valorant. So like, I basically do all the same shit in Valorant, except it works like 90% of the time, whereas in Counter-Strike, it only worked like 10% of the time. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> you would just die to someone with a rifle instead and of a like, shotgun. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, I baited like three people in the process. We were all also pretty bad, so it's not like we could say anything. It's like, we couldn't tell you how to play. <laughs> It was like, but you were, yeah. Oh my man. gripe, my gripe with Val, or sorry, Counter Strike was always, I always felt like I was fighting from behind because, like, I, I got, I played the game so late in life. I never played Source or anything. I built my first PC in college and I played Counter Strike with a fucking controller in college because I, I didn't know how to use mouse and keyboard. That is disgusting. This is all true. I don't know that's possible. So I almost I, threw up just I played now. like twice and I was like, this sucks, not fun. Um, and then later I learned mouse and keyboard to play Fortnite with you guys. Because you and Ben were all playing Fortnite mm. at the time. Oh, Fortnite. yeah, because you were a console gamer for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. played Fortnite a lot. Like console. Huh? We played Fortnite a lot. We had Dude, some fun drops. We did. We, we dropped did. Good. I, I actually missed that so much. That was fun. I, Queuing up to get in the same game. Oh, Dude. That was great. <laughs> What I was so good. What, game what's, like what's your mean thing that stuck? We with should you? play Warzone together. It's so fun. You guys would love it. I, I only I can't, I don't I can't use start. Controller. I can't start. Down. Um, play mouse and keyboard. It's yeah, fine. but then it's like you feel like you're playing from behind. You are. You are. I don't want to do. But it. I've I thought just, about it a lot. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. It's not. It's so COD has always been casual. You can mm. just you can just log on, play, log off. It doesn't Maybe. patches don't really matter. It's Maybe, but then I start talking to stream how I'm playing Warzone. They're like play the stream, and then and then, then it's like you gotta start together. saying slurs and you gotta yeah. join phase. Well, yeah, the thing I mean, is, I'm not ready to. That's big. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? What's yours? What's yours? Mine oh, is yeah. mine is when you keep roasting how I don't like music like a psychopath bot. <laughs> you don't like that? No. <laughs> Why you don't? I do like music. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And I came to the conclusion that I do, and you're yeah, wrong. You can't, you because you always say, <laughs> and I don't. This need, is how it goes every time. You're just like, um, I like the Strokes with a question mark at hey, the end. Hey, uh, Zipper, can you pull up Gabriel Gundacker? Is this music? I can hit you like with four albums right now. Of what? Yeah, that I like. Okay, hit me now. <laughs> strokes is it? Strokes retaliate. <laughs> strokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but I guess what I'm saying is, am I wrong? Yeah. Okay, why? Because even if, like, because I listen to music a lot when I'm on my Vespa. Okay. And when I don't have it, I don't enjoy the experience as much. But w- before so you had a Vespa, music. when did you listen to music? It would mostly just be on stream. No, I mean real music. Like, not fucking Animal Crossing I also think time. it was real music. Like, I think it's but, not, o- like, I think I use music in a deeper way on stream than Animal Crossing and talking. There's, like, a lot of, like, speech moments with like like the good the bad the ugly yeah but it's just weird to say yeah one of my favorite tracks is oh eh, oh eh, ah you know <laughs> Wait, what, what was that you one? know the one <laughs> the, the brain power uh eh, ah, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh. Da, 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 yeah, no, sorry, I'm sorry, I did it way different. No, I'm the only one who understands. No, I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Wow, thanks. He acted sorry, like not, he I'm didn't not much know. of a music head. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I only listen to horror core and yeah. that. I think there's a gap in my knowledge of popular music, but it doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it when I was younger and don't enjoy it now. I but uh, okay, you're I right. Just wasn't it's also to... not a crime to like video game music, but I have always conflated your listening of music with the. Mm the shill empire of being broadcast and being a person on stream. So I was like, well, this is definitely something like he cannot access on a, like an emotional level. He just has to play it because 
you know, it's the good, the bad, and the ugly song. Zip like, if, if, if you were on a date with a girl and she said, play your favorite song for me, and you played that song, <laughs> like, that's weird. Dude. And that's what I'm making fun of. Playing fucking yeah. Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is actually so But good. if it hurts your feelings, but, uh, no, I would I throw that's, on, that's on, that's on I me. I would throw on the strokes and Hoodie Allen and call it a car ride. <laughs> call it, <laughs> call it a best of. Dude, me, me and Juan Zipper, so, I really, can you really quickly, Zipper, play this video? Just because it's only a minute and... <laughs> is this music? I love, I can't get enough of that sweet music. Hey, how about we get some music on here, huh? There is music on? That's great, I love music. This is this you. This is good, is this animals? <laughs> <laughs> Instruments? <laughs> That's great. If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna let him listen to music. Because the music is, seems pretty fine to do, to listen to. <laughs> I'm on some music. I've turned off the music. I love this song. Put it where? I love this song. It's not funny. I love this song. <laughs> this is my favorite part. The song's over. I know. <laughs> anyway, this that's you. That's me. That's, that's, what that's me. Uh, fuck. What was I gonna say? Um. Um. Get get there. I can't believe like, that hurts. Sounded like Masayoshi Takanaka. The Takanaka. What? Is it it's like a. It's like an instrumentalist Japanese guitar player. Oh, I thought you were talking about. Porter Jade's boyfriend. <laughs> Some music head. Fucking this guy. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, it's not Dude, Schlatt, Queens of the Stone Age. We were, uh, Ludwig had a secret shoot that we were doing uh, this past week, and Schlatt was there. And he, we're driving in the car, and he goes, uh, he looks at me, and he goes, so uh, I'm going to start vlogging now. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And he pulls out a camera, and he turns, he turns his little light around on it. He's got like a little panel that screws into the top, and he goes, I'm a gearhead. <laughs> and then he starts filming himself and he's just like yo what's up gearheads and he just becomes camera guy I like, like guy that. into cameras yeah. and, and it was yeah the whole weekend he was referring to anyone who was holding things as a gearhead that guy too. likes gear he's hey like, yo gearhead that guy's a gearhead nice and it was really good we were yeah. bad vloggers he's, he's on a our bad way. vlogger <laughs> I, that sounds like a great vlog it's not because it's it's making jokes because you can't do the vlog seriously you, oh, yeah man. but that's my entire life and I'm pretty funny. Right, but you need to provide like contextual elements to guide the narrative of the video. Yeah, but you can do that being jokey bears. I guess, yeah, then you end up with uh, Quincy Boys. Yes, sir. But I don't think his goal of the vlog is <laughs> uploading Quincy Boys. I love how that is a touchstone in which he can refer to, and we all understand that. Yeah, but he doesn't understand. <laughs> buh, 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 buh. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Uh. <laughs> Can't believe you don't get it yet. I don't know. Brain power. Uh, Wait, you, one more. What was Aiden's? Uh, that's for him to say. In yours, worst friend, you so find I wouldn't out. spoil it. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No, well, I, I feel like Aiden could write a fucking novel. No, dude. Um, every time, well, every time we, every time we come out of an argument, he ends up closer to agreeing with me on literally everything. Well, when you cut a rope and you tie it back together, the ends are closer. Dude, that's right. That's what. It's true what he said, and it's also real. I get it now. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to say nice things about me? No. Tell us about PCs though, because he talked about building a PC. <laughs> Uh yeah, well I I, 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 I messaged Ludwig because the okay so the OTK cabal of, oh, yeah. of like the the entire like lizard organization has made a a business venture with Charles the moist guy mm. Charlie moist bears mm. and it's basically a, Charlie a, gaming it's a it's a, a what do you call it a pre made PC uh service, right? Pre -built, it's kinda like yeah, Artesian. Pre -built. They just sell pre built PCs. They sell yeah. pre built PCs. The it's best like, in the world. It's like Artesian which, which went down. It's like NZXT, which also sells like other stuff. Uh and it's it's NZXT is doing well, right? It's kinda like well NZXT okay. just sells just cases too that are pretty popular. They sell right? cases and components it's like and alienware. other stuff. Without no, the peripherals? System integrators is what they're called. Sure. And I saw this all happen and I messaged Ludwig's like, this is the most um, qualified I've ever uh, been to talk mm. about something. What? What? I don't know why he's shaking his head. What's wrong? I want. You got a poop? I wanted to say that I I'm integrators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. had I had a. That's weird. Yeah. I had <laughs> both. I had both of you on my shoulder, even though both of you would not want me to say yeah, it. We but in my head, Ludwig wanted me to. So it was angle and devil. I'm down. I feel, I feel like, worse. And, I feel like and me and Ludwig were both uh, like shaking hands right, across your which chest, which I recognize. But you watched it. You watched me reconcile with myself, and, and then. And then you just went for it. Mm -hmm. and well, yeah. And I think that's brave. I'd like to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like if this was over. <laughs> Is it first or second? What? Graders. 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> so it's called so it's called Star Star Builds. <laughs> What is it called? Do you remember? <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> I have to look it up. <laughs> Star uh, OTK. Oh, Come on. Oh, make it a main up. <laughs> Starforge. Starforge. It's called Starforge. Yes. They made a company called Starforge, collaboration between Moist Esports and OTK. <laughs> They also they, they also took a bunch of employees. What it sounds like, I haven't like actually looked into this. They have this, one employee from Artesian Builds who I don't think was like the shitty. No, guy. no, I think they they took some of the staff because the staff was actually really strong. It was the CEO that kind of torpedoed the whole yeah. thing, and he was just like a big scumbag. There was a gamers nexus. I think people video are using it as this. a negative point, but I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think, think it is either because the the gamers nexus journalist expedition that could have been shot way better could was like pretty clear about how it was mostly this guy who fucked everything up, who's not there anymore. Tell me how Starfield is a terrorist organization. Starfield is not a terrorist organization, <laughs> but it's interesting because the reception is so very, very lukewarm at best and just acidic at worst to uh, to OTK, which is really interesting because, I, I don't know, it's like they didn't do market research to see if like people would like this idea, and they just kind of assumed they would, and it seems like that's not happening. And, uh, and so there's I feel all- like it was even less thought than that. I feel like... The- they maybe considered less if people would like it, and they more looked at it as numbers, like, will it probably make money? Maybe, and, and that's another thing. It's like, it's just, maybe it's a, a vocal minority who's, like, talking all this shit, and it's like, if they offer the same prices and stuff as, like, the other system integrators, then they're just going to make money, and that's great. And they also have the ability to leverage their own, you know, influencing, and not have to, like, pay Mizkif to, you know, shill this company, because it's his company or whatever, he's involved right. in it. So it's a really interesting thing, but it, it can definitely go bad. And uh, it's funny because Steve from Gamers Nexus is a fucking... People were talking about the Reddit thread. They're like, bro, I hope he doesn't fucking get a hold of these guys. Because he's a very, very, very like in-depth and picky reviewer of these like systems and computers. And I, like, I, just, I just had this vision in my head of like Miskiff watching a Gamers Nexus fucking video on stream and be like, who the fuck is this guy? You know, and like that's not going to mm. go well. Sure. Uh, so be, he's like a harsh critic. He's an extremely are, harsh critic. Like, primed their tushies up to get ri- ran by him. Yeah, <laughs> and like everyone's everyone's co- right now kind of talking about this i3 system with like a 10th gen i3 Intel processor that's like a thousand dollars and a sixteen fifty in it, and that's like pretty bad price. But then you do the math, and it's like mm, I saw not. one PC, and it was like PC part picker twenty five hundred, and then Starfield PC thirty five hundred. And it was like a thousand dollar markup. Yeah, I think that's hard to. I, I don't think that's fair to them actually right now to do that because the prices are so weird. Did PC part picker like pull prices just from all like results, new egg even and... if they're sold out. No, it, it tells you if they're sold out. I thought like usually. the price is usually just populated by the lowest it can find. Not it, it necessarily lowest it can what find, you can but buy usually it, it will gray out if you cannot <laughs> access it. In addition, like sometimes you know, like I I don't know. I think that's actually unfair. And I mm. again, I think I'm pretty qualified as a people person who watches graphs on youtube <laughs> to like <laughs> to make that claim but i think the, just the biggest thing is that there's so many ways to fuck this up and they have to be really careful because they're no longer just like they can't just like have a bad stream anymore and just be like do whatever we'll just do the next stream it's like now you're providing items to customers that like aren't hoodies and aren't something like that's cheap yeah, and it's easy stressful. And if they fuck it up, it's like it, it's Dude. it's kind of suck. Even they, they should they should like every one hundred computers, one goes out with beans in it. Like, hmm. only, like, oh, the all, bean all, raffle! And then, yeah. and then they get like Jay Schlatt, and he's like, "I'm the bean guy," and he removes the beans, and it's like a yeah. it's like a golden ticket. Yeah, exactly. Jay Schlatt will come remove every bean from your computer by your house by eating it. He'll eat all the He'll beans eat inside every you. Every bean in your house. He'll eat all the beans <laughs> for you, and, including the ones in your pantry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna be like walking around like, you got any beans back in the, in the bedroom? Or can I go? And, oh, and he's got to find the beans. Okay. Is funny, man. I've thought about this a lot because <gasps> there was some negative reception. <gasps> this is still the gaming PC thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Star Boys. And what I thought about was how specifically building a PC allows you to show 
because because you can see all the price of the individual parts because the hobby of building your own PC and like the culture that was created when they were first invented. And so like, yeah. you, you can see the cost of everything. <laughs> yeah, because when PCs were first invented and they filled rooms, <laughs> guys everywhere were like, I want to build the, yeah, one of those. I, how many thousands of vacuum pots <laughs> do we need? I think they did. Well, not maybe that early, but you they, guys want to fill a room with plastic like early PCs. I think it was mostly people building their own early PC building was a very, very niche hobby and it was still pretty a better way to get your PC. I remember like we put my mom bought a gateway PC for like two thousand dollars on loan back in like ninety fucking eight or something. Right. And it sucked. <laughs> so you can see the cost of everything. So then you can see the markup of everything. And it feels bad when you know the markup as opposed to buying an iPhone where you don't know the cost of everything. Right. But you're like shmi shmop. It's probably cheaper, but whatever. And you don't have an alternative. Yeah, it's it's really weird to be able to look at the components and what you're kind of paying for because these companies do fine. Like it's it's basically your Warzone player who is like, you know what? I think I'll say a couple less slurs and I'll get a PC and I'll game on that instead. Mm. And they you're, you're up, also like looking up the video like how to build a PC, seeing the time says one hour, and then going, I don't want to do it. I don't do that. Also, you're there's paying, like, you're paying for the labor. Like one right? friend in the group usually that's like the PC builder. Yeah, Cost, yeah. We got, we got him. He, he built my first PC. And he helped me build my and then, second. And then PC. I kissed, I kissed him on the lips after. Did you build and, your last and one? And I said, yeah. nobody likes playing fucking video games with you. Don't yep. use this to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only help you if you don't play video games. You put on in it. a USB port that would shut down all video that games. Honest, yeah. <laughs> if I somehow would have agreed to that, uh, you probably would have saved my life. <laughs> I'd probably be a better person. You probably, probably be way more productive. Yeah. Uh. And so, yeah. What was I? What were you saying? In finale, are they a terrorist organization? They're they're plausible. Not, they're they're <laughs> <laughs> myth confirmed. <laughs> there, it is an extremely lucrative business, and also what you're paying for is customer service and like the ability to be like, hey, I don't want to deal with this, so there's an upcharge for that. Yeah. So, also, people love fucking just buying pre ordered It could be great. But they gotta be really careful, and if they're not, it was so easy to not fuck it up. In my opinion, H O, mm. you know, because mm. this has already been fucked up before. So, mm. anyway, that's that's all from uh, Slime at Gamers Gamers Lexus Nexus. Want to hear something funny about Nick? Yeah, I do. You know how he like dresses all fancy? Yeah, he's a piece of shit. I spent so much money on clothes. I spent one million dollars on clothing. I and bought smiled. a Gucci shirt and I T O tournaments. What Aiden, I, what's going on? Pussy. Tell him about what happened when you went to the restaurant. A restaurant talking about decline. We oh went to my god, Boa steakhouse! Holy shit, which okay. is apparently okay. a fancy <laughs> restaurant. I th didn't know this. You okay, guys want so, to so steak? wait, you guys got steak? It is so hold on. Let me, let was me, I gone? Let me go yeah. back. So, uh, no, you couldn't have. You were, yeah, you were gone. You were, you were gone. Um, but it was also very, it was not planned. It was not like it just kind of happened. So, uh, we, we were off doing this shoot, and Jay Schlatt's in town, and Jay Schlatt wants to get dinner after this shoot. And uh, and throughout the day, I'm very focused because I'm like running the shoot. And I'm like, they're kind of saying they're mentioning they're going to go to dinner. Or they, they asked me if I want to go. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Assuming they just like want to go to some casual dinner, or, like just to hang out after. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm down. But they no one explained to me, um, which is like I probably would have forgot anyways. Or I couldn't have fixed the problem anyways. But no one really explained that it was like a very high end restaurant, like mm. the type of restaurant that has a bouncer. I didn't know this, by the way. <laughs> they got a bouncer. Yeah, I, think, I, I think Jay Shot's the only person they, who knew this. They said, oh, in those shoes, bro. I don't think so. Well, uh, <gasps> no way, really? <laughs> well, uh, we, 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 we start driving to the restaurant and, uh, Jay shot still has not mentioned to me that this is like a really upscale restaurant. We're getting closer and he's like, uh, oh yeah, Ted's on his way. I'm like, oh, Ted's coming. Wow. He literally like, doesn't speak broke talk. No, he, no. And, and we pull up and you can only valet. And I'm like, I can only, oh, this place looks really nice. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, uh, Jay shot like loosely mentions. He's like. I don't know if you're going to be able to like wear that, like what I'm wearing. And I'm like, I'm, I'm dressed exactly like this. And one to one, I'm dressed like this. Ew. And I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Is there a dress code? He's like, yeah. And then the guy for the valley comes up with like a flashlight. He like rolls the window down. And he, uh, he, I'm like, oh, uh, here are my keys. And he immediately goes, you're wearing shorts. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> He's the valet. Oh my He's God. He's the valet. And I'm like, um, uh, yeah, but and Jay Shot's like, don't worry, I have a, uh, I have pants for him. He's gonna put pants on for you. And I'm like, yeah, I have pants. And so he's then like, he stands there and he's like, I'm putting pants on for you. And the valet's like, good. And he's shining the flashlight up and down yeah, his body. Yeah. And he's like, get to it, champ. Yeah. Turn get around. Get to it, squirt. Turn around and do it faster. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So I show him my goat. Um, <laughs> so so we and we, he goes C minus. So Jay Shot gets out of the car and opens the trunk of the car and gets into his suitcase and gets me a pair of pants. 
but they're uh they're like sweatpants oh cool so he gives me a pair of sweatpants but they're like 15 year old ones where the cotton starts balling up yeah. no, no no it was the opposite they were like so nice that they had a pattern Oh, like they were like t- textured. Oh, so it just, but, but it at just night looked they like look, look like shit. Oh, yeah, cool. At night they just look terrible, and they're blue. So I'm wearing like a black shirt with like blue sweat. It's mm. totally not matching. And then I'm wearing my beat up work shoes. Like black my and blue sh- don't match. What? Have blue? you not seen the navy blue TikToks? Black and blue never look back. But black and blue back. never look back. <laughs> well, no, blue and black never. Yeah, look back. black and blue don't crack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what it is. Never <laughs> anyway, forget. Continue. Uh, and uh, so I go out, and I literally feel like, like, you know how Mars dresses at tournaments? Yeah, I look like that. Oh yeah. And yeah. I get out, and I'm just like, I've never been more uncomfortable in my own skin. That's so and Jay funny. Schlatt's pants are way fucking big. Who knew? Way fucking bigger than mine. Yeah. And I'm walking around like holding them up, and he's like, "Come on, tie them." And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like tying my pants and trying to get him to stay up, and I'm like kind of holding them as I walk because they're way too big. And uh, we go up to the door, and there's a bouncer at this restaurant. It's not even a club. And he uh, he has his flashlight in his hand. And uh, and uh, Ted, who's now shown up. Oh, no, sorry, not Ted. Um, Schlatt says, yeah, uh, uh, we're here to see uh, Paul, who apparently is like a promoter, who's here, and they have this contact. What and the, the ba- And the bouncer goes, did Paul tell you there's a dress code? And to he, you or to Schlatt? all of us? Oh, to wow. all, and I, I feel singled, but he's talking to all of us, and we say we're so shook. <laughs> we say fucking nothing. We're all just like, uh, and Schlatt's like, uh, and then <laughs> Paul comes out of nowhere, like they can come in, and the guy's like pissed. The guy's like, okay. And then we go like, in. Like the steakhouse is really taking a turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we go, <laughs> we go in, and we're walking. Everyone's dressed so fucking nice, and we're like, wow. and, and this Paul guy's like, "What's up, boy? So excited to see us." I'm like, he was I, great. Don't, I don't know what's going on. I feel like such a what schmuck. Were you so I had my jacket on, oh. and it was very warm in there. <laughs> and I and I revealed my shirt at the table. I asked the waitress, "Is this okay?" And she's like, "Well, you're already in. They can't kick you out." It was a, the shirt I have that says "Commit Tax Fraud" with Barney on the side. <laughs> <laughs> we look like a couple of cunts. That was a fanny pack. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to add one more thing to this. We had a lovely dinner. It was great. Um, Delicious. We then got the check in Ludwig. You, you, have, you ever Picto chat on the Nintendo yeah. DS? You know when sometimes you try to fill every pixel with black? Yes. And then send it? Yes. So Ludwig tried to do that with the signature. Uh, Can you like show the di- picture? A digital zipper? signature? Yeah. Uh, you took a picture? You show the, you show the picture zipper? Ludwig, why did you do that? What? Dude. Why did you do that? I discovered new tech through this know. because Ludwig was trying to fill the whole thing with black, and before he could finish, it popped up. <laughs> yeah, it's that giant and black then, bar. Go to the closer one. I sent you like a zoomed in version. <laughs> that loaded like before a CIA. he can finish, it pops up. Signature too complex, and it crashes. <laughs> You crash the fucking yeah, yeah. Like, toast module? <laughs> yeah, and then I tried it again less and it worked. So you can feel like just a bit. You can have too dope of a signature. I, I do love the idea of going to like the f- most upscale place you can and just being a piece of shit the whole time. Dude, oh, we were sweet. I will say. I'm sure you're like sweethearts to human beings, but also just like, it, it feels like, yeah, we shouldn't be here and we're going to make it a little weird. Yeah, fuck the rest what of What I'll say is I felt like the smallest man of all time before I got in. And then once I was in, I was like dressed that way and got in anyway. I'm the biggest. Yeah, ever. I'm a bit different it all than all y'all. all for me. Yeah, that's hype. Yeah, it was Dude, good. It, man, I, 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 I assumed that you would say that Schlatt, when confronted by the bouncer, would have been like, yeah, we're just going to dress like this. Like he he wouldn't be shook. We all froze. That's all, so. We he crushed prepared. the first interaction. I think. Yeah, he crushed when, the first when, one. Because they also while he was saying that he was like staring at Nick's shoes. He was looking at like Nick's shoes, like they yeah. were the most ridiculous thing. Like SpongeBob looking at the map in that yeah. episode, he's trying to find the treasure. Yeah. He's just like <laughs> they were pretty rough. He's like, this is what you're wearing. And I, and I was like, damn, wow. why are you looking at his feet so much? Oh man. That was so awesome. That's nice. Great dinner, though. Great dinner. It was lovely. Uh, I was going to... Oh, and then we also at dinner. You know Dolly, the, the AI that can, like... Yeah. So, uh, Ted has access to it. Yeah. Because the full version is, like, He's you have to get access. He's made amazing things with it. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. He didn't make shit. Um, he just typed in words. Yeah, but, like, the words you type in matter a lot. Also, you own it when you make it. That sounded That's stupid. That sounded cool. <laughs> zipper and zipper laughs at me. They do matter because you... He, he showed me that you can be, like... A Polaroid picture taken with flash. You of, know what I mean? Of 
oh, the I Empire see. State Building, and it'll do all of it. Okay, like, it, it, yeah. can, it can context. It can make. It can understand context. So, so this is interesting to Ludwig because he can't describe things at all mm. with words. Mm. That's what he struggles with. Mm. And this is just Rogan. a normal skill. Rogan. Ludwig using, <laughs> Ludwig using Dolly to tell us what he wants. <laughs> Show you the picture. Uh, hey, Eamon types in me, matcha donut. Me explaining to my friends what I think. <laughs> uh, well, I, we were just going around and we were just saying like like a an army of geese entering Walmart, and then we were having Dolly run it, and then Dolly Mini run it, and okay. then comparing them, and we did this for like an hour. We like stayed an hour after we finished eating just to do this, and it was one of the, it was so fun. That's it was great. I, yeah, I got it now. What do you mean? Oh, you got it. I got Dolly. Yeah, because you have to oh, you pay got to it. do it, right? You have to gain access, and it's like pretty limited. I just auto had it. I think you told me that. And I just oh, messaged nice. Otto. Yeah, yeah, Otto. Yeah, Andrew has one. He has access to a pretty good one, and he, he was obsessed. He typed in slime machine, and it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a clock. It's fun trying to get it to work. Like we were trying to get um fire truck to transformer. But it was just using like transformers, like the like the electricity yeah. thing. Yeah, and we was like, we were like, okay, okay, how about Fire Truck Optimus Prime? Yeah, and we just kept doing different combinations and trying to get it to understand. This is a this is an English major's <laughs> wet dream. Yeah, you're just your job is to find ways to say things. I thought of a fun idea, which is you know that game Squibble, I think Squ- No, Squibble IO. No, it's the one where you I forget what it's called. Uh, but you do a drawing, and then someone else sees the drawing, write like writes a caption Squibble for it. Squibble IO. And is that it? Squibble IO. I played wait, it all the time. Hey, Zeke was really good at it because he played it a lot and he always oh, got a bus Squibble, driver. No, 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 no. a little uh, different because you're um, guessing what they're drawing. This is like writing a caption yeah, yeah, yeah. for it and then someone else draws oh, that caption. I'm about to get there. It's like telephone but for drawings. Let him come. Let Nick come. We played come. this at BTS uh, at a company party. Let Nick come We so played it hard. together in this house. Bro, mm. it's Squibble I.O. It's not. It's not and you keep it's saying not. it. It's not. It's um... Fuck! Gartic phone. Gartic phone is the one. That, oh, yeah. I never played That's it. That's what it is. That, but for Dolly. And so you get a prompt, you write a prompt, and you get the picture, and then you have to write the caption, and, and mm. then it keeps going. My idea was we do Mad Libs, and then after the Mad Lib, you plug every sentence into Dolly, and then you make a comic. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it's like, it's like, so I, <laughs> that, that was, <coughs> that was what made them start laughing at me, because I was like explaining that idea, and I was like, yeah, so, you know, like Mad Libs, it's like, it's like, a, and then I walked in with an army of geese, yeah. and they were making fun of me for sounding like a child, like how a child would do Mad <laughs> that's Libs, what not Mad how Libs, an adult That's what Mad Libs it. is. I know, but they're, that's when no, we that's what started it's it. it's like, now I walk in my big ass yeah. dick and ball. Because <laughs> then they were like, all right, pull it up, let's do army of geese, let's see what it looks like. And then it was so good, we were like, oh, Shields, be doing this, that, that's, that's pretty fire. <laughs> Uh, like but, you guys had a little bit of fun. Well, how was you have any fun? Oh, how was San Diego? Yeah, yeah, it's great. You, you made HBox pop off. Is the lore? Yeah, I literally it. I Mikey tweeted out, but it was a domino effect of me taking Kyle's charger for his phone because I thought it was mine because we both have the same white charger. But he didn't know that mine was just at the Airbnb, so he could have just charged his phone. Anyway, I take it with me. I go to the venue all day, like Aiden's shoes. Kyle, yeah, Kyle walks around the house apparently. And ends up slamming his toe into something, <laughs> which is crazy because, like, he was just looking for a charger. I asked him, I was like, were you mad? And he's like, no, I was really chill. Well, I was kicking all the ports to see if a charger yeah. was. Uh, <laughs> like, trying to get my toe in there. <laughs> shaking shit. And then, yeah, and so he, he hit his toe. It's all fucked up in purple. It's his pinky toe. Oh. He, like, broke it. Oh. And he's like, he's like, oh, man, I don't think I can go to the venue. And he was you the- You gotta go to a Canadian doctor, too? Or they're gonna, like, be like- San Yeah, Diego. they're gonna- <laughs> He's from Canada. Oh. <laughs> there, and so he was like, I can't go to the venue. The whole time he was the, the warm up slut for Mango. And You're pretty right. much anyone who wanted puff practice, he's like p- the best puff in the venue. And he couldn't go there. And then Mango loses to Puff. Mm-hmm. Jamu loses to Puff. Mm-hmm. And then H Box, after winning chair. the tournament, throws a chair onto the stage. And it's all because I took an iPhone charger away. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I believe that that has an argument to be true. I think so. I also think that he's allowed to throw chairs. I've done no say it, den den no. Everyone freaking out. Done said it. All these liberals mad. Here's the thing. He's showing his he, art. Sh- he should be allowed to throw whatever he wants as long as the next time it's a bigger item. Yeah. No. Until it's fa- it's far too Until big. Until he hurts someone and then he has to pay restitutions and he starts from zero. Dude, you can't. Uh, Smashers are so dumb. You can literally monetize him being an asshole. You say, <laughs> "Fuck you, one. You give me a thousand dollars for that shit." And yeah. then you just do it. And yeah, then flag on the play. Just flag on the play. Or a penalty, and then, whatever it is. And then it's like, and then people are like, you know, we are charging Juan $1,000 because he threw a chair into the venue and that's stupid. 
And then everyone's like, yeah, pay that one. And he's like, uh, okay. And then he pays it, and then he's shamed. It's so fucking mm. easy to monetize it. <laughs> it's harder because you there's no the only way to enforce a fine is by shaming. Yeah. And and there will be varying levels of success if it works once because then people could abuse it. Shame is all we have. What and, if he ate the chair? And I think that Juan has done this enough to people are so mad that they can just fucking do it. Right. But like what I'm saying is they could use it in a situation where he stands up in a pop off and the chair falls behind him. And no, then, because then people will be like, that's stupid, and then he wouldn't pay Exactly, it. but then the, we have to deal with the marketplace of ideas where some people will agree, some people mm, won't and agree. And I like that. And he has to make the call, mm. and if he ever has to make the call, and it's no, and that's valid, then he could say no every time. Yeah, but there would be times where he was <laughs> definitely out of pocket, and people would be like, well, this is fucked up, you should pay this. And then he'll be shamed. I'm saying the system works, I guarantee it. I'm I just think, saying, I he believe threw in a this. chair, Laura Bush killed a man, why are we still talking about Hungrybox? Laura Bush? <laughs> Laura Bush. Who is that? The wife of George W. Bush. Is she a fucking babe? She killed a man in a hot way. Really? Smothered her she did, breasts. What did she do? Is this real? And they choked. I think she killed a man driving. What? Why, where did the breasts come from? That, okay, I was just making it up. Why did you do that? So I can't find this anywhere. Bit of a lie. That you can find the car thing. Rule 34, the Barbara zipper. Bush. Was Look it up, a, Zipper. Was it Laura Bush? The zipper thumb us up? What Sorry, was that Laura sound? Bush. I heard a sound and now I'm distracted. We, I like think we're kid. at about an hour. Laura, Laura Bush. Are you thumbing up Laura Bush killed a man or Zipper. Six, zipper. Laura Bush. Uh, rule 34 now. Was it not Laura? <laughs> now I feel like it wasn't Laura we're the Bush. Patreon. We could just show it. Laura Bush, Rule 34. Don't, no, don't do that one. Yeah, do it. Laura no, Bush safe search is off. Hentai no. porn. Click it. Click Don't it. click a link. Go click to it, images. Click Don't it. click a link. That's no, a click virus. The click the link. No, that's a virus. Whoa! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh! Look at that Hillary one. That's weird. <laughs> 1963, Laura Bush killed someone. So you're saying why are we talking about Hungry Box when this happened like ran 80 a stop years sign. ago? She ran a stop sign. Holy shit! Mm -hmm. Such accidents don't usually end up on the animated series Family Guy. <laughs> That's where I remember it from. <laughs> Why did you bring this up? That is one of up? the funniest ways to write that ever. To defend Hungrybox, because we were so focused on him, I'm taking the heat off him. Oh. Why didn't you think of something you ever, else? You ever kill a guy this so good you really married well. George Bush? <laughs> <laughs> they, when George Bush, get, after getting a, a draft dodged, he says, oh, she's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, bro. Well, well damn. Uh, well, damn. We're there, huh? We're there. We're just so hot and cool and cock and cool. What a great hour it's been. Do you think that? Hour. I think it was an amazing hour. Do you, was it like the last episode where everyone thought it was dog shit poop? I've never said that. I never said that, and I don't appreciate it. Aiden you and Nick thought it was me. dog shit poop, and then people were saying, damn, that was the best one ever made. I listened back, and I realized I was too harsh, but I... I think I was tapping into something real. I just can't. I just can't describe it yet. Their Tap barometers all off. What'd you say? Their barometers all off. Inshallah, old man. In, inshallah, I I podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck yeah. All so. right. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm. And that's when next week you'll uh, we'll be back to the regular scheduled uh, berating and bullying <clears throat> of Aiden as much as we no can. No narks. No narc. No fucking narc. We Remember. didn't say a single goddamn night. We're going to bully him, and then you guys are going to later bully him, and then we're going we're gonna to ban you from the Patreon, and mm. it's going to go back to normal. Uh, That's right. That's right. Oh, God, I can't wait. All right, it's like everyone. a vacation, but I want to go home. Goodbye and goodbye. Mine.